service um, was in Korea. Unfortunately, um, I was a young lad at that time and therefore couldn't serve in the Second World War. I was flown um, from a base camp in Malaya to Korea and for some time served with the Americans. Later on, when I was transferred back to my own unit, I was on a hill called 309 where I was wounded and we were under tremendous heavy fire and it took three days for a, for a, a helicopter to, to come in and relieve the wounded. This was by the Canadian Field Ambulance and to them I am entirely grateful. Many soldiers unfortunately stayed in Korea. They had no option. They are absent veterans. Would that you would wander still through grassy fields by wooded hill when morning birdsong fills the air and yet another spring is here. If only you could still feel sun upon your face when winter's done and smell sweet scented flowers fair when yet another summer's here. But fate decided otherwise and you beneath Korean skies a gallant band of soldiers lie your duty done, your merit high. No changing seasons can erase that one familiar name, that face, that comes and lingers with each thought of those with whom we lived and fought. The years have passed I plenty since the time that I was there, along with countless others, the burden for to share. Now I often think of those who stayed detained against their will neath a field of painted crosses on the side of a sun-baked hill. What price the golden glory in the winning of the fight with you not there to share it but gone forever from our sight. But you are not forgotten and this I remember too. But for the grace of God above I'd have shared that field with you. We are here today to remember fallen comrades of World War I, World War II, Korea, Afghanistan and Iraq. People are still dying now, but they shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. God bless the United States of America, Canada, and God save the Queen.